Hello guys, so I made a video on how to solve the 4x4 Rubik's Cube uh, with the beginner's method and um, the first part to solve and once you have the three first layers solved then the top layer is the last step and uh, in that video I explained how to solve the top layer with an easy way to learn but not the fastest way, not the best way uh, so in this video I'll teach you the OLL and PLL cases but uh, for the OLL is to orientate the last layer, so to have all the yellow stickers pointing up and then the PLL is to pair the last layer, to pair all these edges with the corners around so that you solve the cube. But they have many many algorithms, one has like 80 something algorithms and the other one has 50 something algorithms. That's crazy to memorize all of them, so in this case I'll teach you the two look OLL which has only 10 algorithms and the to look PLL which has only 6 algorithms. So the, the OLL, the first part is to orientate the edges, then the corners but first the edges. So you can have three cases, the first case is the yellow dot like this and in this case just to this algorithm F R U R prime U prime F which brings us to the second case, which is this L shape. If you have this, just turn it twice to put it pointing to the left and to the back and do this algorithm F U R U prime R prime F prime. The second case is that you have the line. If you have this, just put it horizontal, okay, and do the first algorithm f r u r prime u prime f prime the second step is when you have all the edges orientated so you have the yellow cross now we will orientate the corners so the first case is this one that you already have one corner orientated and in this case if you put it in this position to the left near you you have this sticker here facing you so this is the soon and you do this algorithm R U R prime, U R U two R prime, and you have the yellow face. Then this is the second case. The anti soon is the other way around. It's the opposite case because if you have this here, you don't have the yellow sticker here, like the other case. So you just need to turn it twice, put it on the back right, and then you will have a yellow sticker here facing you in this position. Uh, opposite to the, the side, so this is on the right, this is on the left and do the, this, the same algorithm but backwards, so it goes R U2 R prime, U prime, R U prime, R prime. In this case you don't have any corner already orientated but you have uh, this pointing U and this to the opposite side, so this is the H because you have like this H shape so if you have these, just turn it like this to put them one to the left and the other to the right and do this algorithm R U R prime U R U prime R prime U R U two R prime Then you have also no corners but these, in this case you have two facing one way but the other two instead of facing the other way are facing outwards like this so if you have this case, just hold it like this with these two pointing to, to the left and this that point outwards, outwards to the right and uh, this is called the pi and you do this algorithm R U2 R2 U prime R2 U prime R2 U2 R then you have the case where you have two corners, in this case they are diagonal. If you have these, uh, you have to put them um, one to the back left and the other one here on the right. And you have to have one facing you, one yellow sticker here facing you. So if I have like these, it's on the back left and face right, but I don't have any yellow sticker here. So just turn twice. So that's one here and the other one here and you have the yellow sticker and do this algorithm. So you do X, X means um, cube rotation. So the down face will be now facing you like this 
and then do this algorithm r prime u r down prime r prime u prime r down and then undo the cube rotation and you have the yellow face now you have two corners but this time you have these two pointing to one side so this is the u case and if you have this just put these two facing you and do this algorithm r2 down r prime u2 r down prime r prime u2 r prime now the last case you have two corners in place in these two instead of pointing to one side are pointing outwards like this so if you have this just hold it like this with this uh, the side that's done to the right and uh, rotate the cube once again like this an x rotation and uh, do this algorithm l u r prime u prime and now the, the opposite l prime u r u prime now if you rotate it back you have the yellow face okay now let's go to the two loop pll you have six possible cases the two first cases are to uh, pair the corners so this is the first case where you need to swap two diagonal pieces because you don't have any corners with matching colors so uh, for example here you have orange green and here you, you should have orange blue so you had, need to swap this with this one so it's a diagonal corner swap so just hold it anywhere and do this algorithm f r u prime r prime u prime r u r prime f prime r u r prime u prime r prime f r f prime this is the other possible cases for the corners so you have two corners that match two colors that match the others don't match so if you have two that match just hold them to the left and do this algorithm r u r prime u prime r prime f r2 u prime r prime u prime r u r prime f prime now let's pair the edges so now we have all the corners in place we only need to pair the edges so in this case you have one side already done if it was like this just match it with the color and uh, you have three edges that need to swap so in this case you have here the red needs to go here the green needs to go here and the orange goes here so it goes like this in this way uh, counterclockwise if you have this it's called the three edge cycle and it goes this way so just hold the face that's done to the back and do this algorithm r u prime r u r u r u prime r prime u prime r2 this is the same case but backwards so instead of going uh, counterclockwise you have to cycle them like this in the clock clockwise direction so this goes here this goes here and this goes here so just do the same algorithm but backwards so it goes r2 u r u r prime u prime r prime u prime r prime u r prime now let's go for the final cases in this one you need to swap this with this so they are opposite and this with this so opposite edge swap do this algorithm so we're going to move the two middle layers which is called m so do this m2 u prime m2 u2 m2 u prime m2 this is the last case where you will need to swap two adjacent edges and here these two adjacent edges so this is called the adjacent edge swap and uh, you need to align with one of these edges with its corresponding center and you will align the other the opposite one and just hold it like this so that one is to the left and the other one to the right and do this algorithm starting with m prime m prime goes like this like up okay 
So do this m prime u prime m2 u prime m2 u prime m prime u2 m2 so that's it that's uh, the two look OLL and the two look PLL I saw many many algorithms for the 3x3 but some of them were, high, were hard to find for the 4x4 so I hope this was helpful leave me your thoughts in the comments below leave me a thumbs up and subscribe here in this button never miss any of my next videos and take care bye bye